Saludos a todo el mundo, soy Danska y os doy la bienvenida al episodio número... ¿15? ¿15? De el de Scrolls Online, Isla Alta. Voy a dejarme OBS de fondo. Un segundo que la he liado. Siento... Ah, esto es un poco de imprevisto, ¿eh? No tenía pensado hacer dos vídeos hoy. Pero al final he decidido hacerlos. ¿Por qué? Porque he salido el juego y te he dicho, joder, ¿cuánto me quedará de, de, de misión principal para cambiarme de personaje? ¿no? Y he dicho, coño, si lo puedo... He estado buscando en internet y no encontraba nada, ¿no? Y digo, joder, si lo puedo mirar directamente en el juego. Y me he vuelto a meter. Y en el juego, si vamos a el mapa y le vamos a abrir ya de la zona, aquí nos va a salir toda la, la zona de Isla Alta, ¿no? En este caso, la historia principal de esta zona, llevamos 6 de 7. Y por si acaso queréis confirmarlo, porque a lo mejor pues, la misión principal de, de esta expansión nos puede llevar a otra zona, que no lo sé. En principio eh, lo podéis mirar también con los logros. Podría ser que haciendo esta mi última misión acabemos con, esta, con el DLC, con la historia principal del DLC. <risa> Podría ser. Oh, bother. Milady's gotten herself into terrible trouble. No me preocupa. No es asunto mío. Podría ser, podría ser que en teoría esta, esta historia iba a ser más larga y no me ha parecido demasiado larga. O sea, en tu supuesto decían que el contenido va a ser de 30 horas. Eh, imagino que sea el contenido de todo el juego, o sea, de toda la expansión. No de la historia principal. Porque, perdóname, tengo 14 vídeos. Los 14 vídeos no, no son una hora cada uno, o sea, que no llevan ni a 15 horas. Sending messengers throughout the countryside, but so far I've only managed to gather a handful of knights. I was about to send them the order to head out when I saw you approaching. Does this mean you have news from Lady Arabelle? Sí, los delegados están a salvo. El gran mago ascendente está muerto y el castillo de todas las banderas está protegido. Gracias a mí. That's excellent news. My congratulations to you and Lady Arabelle. I'll still send the knights, but now their orders will be to shore up the castle's defenses, not rush into a war. But pray tell, so, where are the delegates now? Un segundo, porque he ido por esto. Es para que veáis donde guardo yo mis dados de rol. Y por supuesto, voy a hacer una tirada de un dado de 20 sense motive para ver si me está mintiendo. Un 10, creo que me está diciendo la verdad. La lo ha puesto, los ha puesto a salvo en la Es que no me fío nada de este tío, eh. Of course, all flags castle must be half in ruins after what I can only imagine was a fierce and costly battle. I'll get with Lady Arabelle and we'll thank the delegates for their patience. I do believe another celebration is in order, though. Don't be modest, friend. From what I already know of your exploits, I can only imagine the heroics you demonstrated at All Flags Castle. Inform Lady Arabelle. We'll gather at Gonfalon Palace to celebrate your courage and the safety of the delegates. Es el malo. Nos está reuniendo en el mismo sitio todos. Vale. How often does someone get to save three realms in the same day? Your actions are an inspiration. I wonder though, did the Ascendant Magus inadvertently help us by attacking the Royals? We shall see. Go, tell Arabelle, she'll make the arrangements. Did they now? I can't wait to hear the entire story. I am surprised they didn't make use of the wards protecting Memorial Hall, though. We prepared the site to keep the delegates safe throughout the peace talks. Bueno, es que el gran mago casi tira abajo el castillo. Yes, I saw his power firsthand at Castle Navir, and Valesia explained that he somehow drew power from the volcanic vents that permeate the islands. A reckless use of magic, with little regard for consequences. Where did he learn that, I wonder? El gran mago ascendente era el conde de Damar du Fort. Damar du Fort? Astonishing! I was certain the Magus was going to turn out to be one of the Monards. 
Tell me, what of this mysterious Ascendant Lord you encountered beneath Castle Navir? Did you learn anything about him? Ordenó al Gran Mago atacar el Islote, pero nunca lo vimos. Cowards like that let others do the fighting for them. Ya como se echa para atrás ahí en plan indignado. Si seguro que eres tú, hijo de puta. Seguro. I suspect the Lord will remain in the shadows for now. Se puede ser más falso. ¿En serio, se puede ser más falso. Estoy seguro, es que te, lo, lo digo en serio, estoy al 90% seguro de que es él. No sé si lo habrá hecho para que. Para que los líderes de la facción trabajen juntos. Porque en su plan realmente es convencerles de. De que trabajen juntos y ha hecho esto para que lo hagan. O si realmente quiere el poder, pero estoy seguro de que es él, el líder de los ascendentes, el gran caballero este. Welcome, my dear. What news do you bring from Steadfast Manor? Were you able to meet with Lord Bacaro, dear? What did he say when you told him about our victory? Lord Bacaro quiere organizar una celebración en el Palacio de Gonfalón y quiere que todos los preparativos. A ver si le suena raro que nos quiera juntar a todos con los líderes y tal. An excellent idea. Lord Bacaro knows it's vital to bring the delegates back to the table. After recent events, their faith in diplomacy might well be suspect. But a party, that's something they can all agree on. Can I impose on you again, dear? Tell the delegates Lord Bacaro dearly hopes they can attend a gathering at Gonfalon Palace. If anyone hesitates, use your charms to convince them to join us. Meanwhile, I'll throw something together. Meet me at Gonfalon Palace when you're done. ¿Dónde puedo encontrar los líderes de las alianzas? Royals, no concern for their own safety. They each went off in search of a diversion. High King Emmerich to the temple, Queen Irene to stroll the harbor, and Prince Ernskar to the inn. I asked the sisters' guard to keep an eye on them discreetly. También puede ser que no lo llegamos a saber en esta expansión, en esta serie de misiones. Porque, os recuerdo que, que lo que hace el Lord of the Rings Online. Ah, aquí está Emery. ¿no? Es que sacan una gran expansión en verano. Sacan una expansión realmente al principio, un DLC a principios de año, en plan febrero, enero, febrero, que ya como que deja caer un poquito la temática, ¿no? Y es como lo, la previa a la gran expansión que viene en verano. Y luego sacan a lo mejor uno o dos DLCs más a lo largo del año. Y todos esos DLCs de ese año completan lo que viene siendo una historia, una temporada, por decirlo de una forma, ¿no? Entonces puede ser que. No, que no lleguemos a saber la info final en esto de aquí, sino que sea en los TLCs que vengan después. Have I thanked you yet for all you've done? Not just for the alliances and Lady Arabel, but for me personally. No? Well, thank you, my friend. I don't know many people who could have beaten the Ascendant Magus. But what brings you to the temple? Lord Bacaro te ha invitado a asistir a una celebración. Mm. Another royal function. I'm getting tired of those ghastly affairs in most cases. I was just considering heading home. Queen Maria must be missing me terribly. Unless is the celebration in my honor. It's it's bad form to refuse such parties. Pues sí, claro. Bueno, para ti, para los otros líderes de las alianzas, se va a celebrar en el palacio de Gonfalon. I ran an Ernskar. Well, I can't allow them to attend and not show up myself and i guess i do owe them something of a debt too they did help us on amanos and at all flags castle all right i'll attend lord bacaro's celebration este tío a veces está como demasiado pedante otra vez no no entiendo it seems i need to pay more attention to the sisters archipelago in the future my negligence allowed treason to fester and bloom unchecked that changes now But enough grim talk. We must celebrate. I will see what Lord Bacaro is gathering. Vas a castigar a la casa a la casa de Thor. I will need to treat that situation delicately. 
Until I can prove one way or another that Duchess Alea was truly ignorant of her brother's plot, I can't in good conscience reprimand the entire house. Still, I don't take treason lightly. La posada está aquí, vamos a ir ahí. Y luego al puerto. Está arriba. Toda la pinta, ¿no? Pero por aquí no puedo ir. Well met, friend. Come have a drink with me. Blessings of Ifray, blessings of Ifray. After the battles we endured, I was hoping to find a celebration. Unfortunately, this inn is as dead as the elk served at the Skull King's table. Have you come to drink with me, perhaps, my friend? En realidad no, Lord Bacaro te ha invitado a asistir a una celebración, allí igual puedes beber y hay fiesta. Well, that's a welcome bit of news. Even a party full of royals and nobles has got to be better than this place. Wait, will Emmerich and Iron be in attendance? If they decline the invitation, I probably should as well. Eh, no, uh, van a ir. And it seems I have no other choice. I will attend Lord Bacaro's celebration and... If the festivities evolve into more serious conversations, perhaps I will even listen. I'll see you there, my friend. Okay. Wait until the Skull King hears what he missed. <laughs> Raging storms, a deadly jungle, a battle against near hopeless odds at an ancient castle. <laughs> my father is going to kick himself. Well, maybe not about the storms. He gets sick at sea. Vale, pues solamente nos queda la reina y luego me imagino que tendremos que ir a, al palacio, simplemente. I can't believe it. An ascendant order sailed a fleet right into the lock. I heard there was a terrible battle at All Flags Islet. And I heard that the important visitors were there, and they turned out to be the leaders of the Three Alliance. Good thing someone was there to defend them. Do what I can to wash ashore with nothing but their lives. Me he movido a lo mejor 50 a 100 metros hacia adelante y le seguía escuchando como si le estuviera al lado. A esos dos. Come on, just one more match. Give me a chance to win my game back. Hello, friend. What were you bet? I've always loved the sea. Comes from growing up on Somerset, I suppose. But what can I do for you, my friend? Don't tell me there are more rogue knights threatening High Isle. Bueno, lo que puedes hacer por mí es que vuelvan a poner la actriz que estaba antes poniendo tu voz. Ahora mismo no, Lord Bacaro te invitó a asistir a una cerveza. Una party. Just another excuse to get me and Emmerich in the same room. Oh, very well. If we could face unprecedented danger together, we can probably survive sharing a few drinks and some food. And where will this gala event be held? Yo no es por faltar respeto a la mujer de Emmerich y y tal, pero es que ahí es buena pareja. Y podréis, eso podría suponer eh, bastante, quitar bastantes problemas al tema de la guerra. Eh, aligerar un poquito el tema de la guerra. La celebración será en el palacio de Gonzalo. All Flags Castle was quite a mess after the battle with the Ascendant Magus. It will take Lord Bacaro a considerable effort if he plans to make it ready for the conference again. No vemos allí. Most of the belongings I brought along were lost when the perfect pounce sank into the sea. I wonder if I can find any suitable attire on this island. Breton tastes leave something to be desired. 
What am I thinking? This outfit is perfectly fine. Oh. Vale, el palacio dónde está? Ah, coño, joder. Como para no verlo. Cuando no le dices que es el malo. Es que estoy seguro, tío. A lo mejor luego no, ¿no? Pero. Hey, good looking. Got a moment. Lord Bacaro may have proclaimed that this was a celebration for the Alliance leaders, but everyone came out to see the hero who saved All Flags Castle. I'm impressed how fast the word got around, even if I may have had something to do with that. Hay algo que te preocupa, Jacar? Just wanted you to know. I worked it out with Lady Arabelle. She considers my debt to her paid in full. I think she may have confused me with you, but I'll take it any way I can get it. So go in and enjoy the party. I'm sure I'll see you around. También es tu celebra celebración. Guys, is sure. And I'm glad everyone's safe, but all this hero stuff gives me a rash. I'm not supposed to attract so much attention. Anyway, Lady Arabelle wants a word with you before she starts the main event. She's waiting inside. Not my finest work. But I think this venue will do. Bueno, a ver qué nos cuenta. Nothing is certain until it happens. I see you've convinced our royal guest to come to our little gathering. Well done, dear. Now for the tricky part: persuading them to stay for Lord Bacaro's talks. After so many perils. I suppose I couldn't blame them if they decided to leave. Los líderes de las alianzas han accedido a asistir a la fiesta y creo que se quedarán para las conversaciones de paz. Excellent, dear. You saved Emmerich and the others from the Ascended Order and ended the threat of the Magus. Plus, you salvaged the talks and restored the hope for peace. Take this. This is your day as much as anyone's. I have to address the crowd. We're here to celebrate the coming together of three great leaders and to show our appreciation for a hero who saved the delegates and kept our hopes for peace alive. On behalf of Lord Vaccaro and the Society of the Steadfast, I ask our honored guests to enjoy the celebration. The Old Mary Dominion thanks our hero and promises to participate when the talks resume. The Ebonheart Pact wholeheartedly agrees. As does the Daggerfall Covenant. Three cheers for our hero and for Lord Vaccaro! Well said, High King. And well said, Queen and Prince. Let the celebration begin. Ya está. ¿En serio no va a pasar nada? ¿Soy yo un paranoico? Sí. Ya está. Yo pensaba que tú eras el malo, cabrón. We have taken the first step on a long journey. Still, no one ever reaches their destination without taking that step. I owe you a debt, friend. When the one empezar a conversar en este paz, there's still a chance for peace. 
That depends on how fast I can get workers out to rebuild All Flag's castle and restore Memorial Hall. And I need to send word to the Mages Guild. Valesia alone can't replace the wards. There's also a new Fighters Guild delegate to consider. Vale, bueno, imagino que pues aquí se acaba esta parte, gente, y en el siguiente DLC tendremos más cositas por ver. A ver, para asegurarme el tema de las misiones, no manda ninguna nueva, simplemente he entregado esa. Sí, estos son secundarias. Vale, pues vamos a hacer un poquito de tiempo y vamos a ver el tema de del juego de cartas. Y habrá que ver... A ver, los DLCs así sueltos no me los compro. No me los compro nunca, siempre solamente me compro las expansiones. Lo que sí que hago de vez en cuando es pillar la suscripción que hay del Dark Souls Online Plus. Que te desbloquea todos los DLCs, todo, todo, te desbloquea todo, ¿no? Entonces, como quiero grabar cosas que no tienen que ver con DLCs, que son las misiones de las facciones, terminar la misión principal, y quizá la del gremio de los ladrones y... Y la mandaza oscura, que eso también tengo que comprar esos DLCs. O sea, digamos que no compro los DLCs de estos temáticos de temporada. Pero hay otros que sí. Entonces, para cuando salga el nuevo DLC, igual tengo la suscripción y lo podemos grabar. Griefa's a palms up card sharp. One of the best tribute players in town. But like I always say, if you want to take the measure of a grot, you've got to climb. That nose ring jibe was unnecessary, right? I'll get her next time. Hey, me dijo que, que hablara contigo de historias del homenaje. Sorin, right? She definitely has an eye for talent. Yes, I can tell you all about tribute. It's a card game, a scavenger hunt. Zen's price. It's practically a religion for some folk. You want fame, gold, it's all there for the taking. Come on, Beth. Ah, fresh player. Excellent. First things first. You need to learn the rules of the game. And you'll need a couple of decks of tribute cards, of course. Find Razamad in the Gonfalon Gaming Hall. Tell him Bragus sent you. He'll get you sorted. Razamad's the game baron here in Gonfalon Bay. You won't find a kinder or more knowledgeable player west of High Rock. Not that he'll go easy on your mind. He expects the best from the players he trains. Trust me, I should know. Ok. Vamos a aprender el jueguecito. Pero no parece que sea... Mm, simple. Y eso me echa un poco para atrás, porque al ser como un minijuego... Dentro de un juego, no me apetece que sea enrevesado complicado. Greetings, my friend, and welcome to the Gonfalon Gaming Hall. Please drink and make merry. We have many strong players gracing the hall today. Lots of action. Tales of Tribute is free to watch, but far more fun to play. Do you play Wayfarer? Todavía no, pero quiero saber más. Then you have come to the right place. Tales of Tribute is a game of stories. Some fantastical and others all too real. Two players share their tales with decks of cards. The game is elegant and easy to learn, but it takes great effort to master. First, you will need two decks. Each deck represents a different story, a different strategy. Your opponent brings two decks as well. Once you and your adversary combine your decks, the game can begin. A shared pool, you see. A level field of play. ¿Dónde puedo conseguir los mazos? Make your way to the beginner's lounge and find my associate, Bragas. Tell him Razamad approved an initiation match. He will lend you a pair of decks and teach you the basics. Complete this trial and 
Pero si la acabo de ver fuera. Dear Bragus often strays, but never for long. His coin rarely holds out. He must be back by now, safe within the confines of the gaming hall where he can be supervised. Do not worry though, Bragus is a fine player. He will teach you well. Vale. Ha <risa> If it isn't my new old friend. Found a place easy enough, eh? Pull up a chair, have a drink. As long as you're buying, of course, I'm uh, well, I'm a little light in the purse at the moment. Let's go, venga. Oh, I love it when we bring new players into the fold. Gets boring playing the same old salts day after day. We need new blood in here. Now, before we begin, you'll need these. Two tribute decks you can borrow for educational purposes. You try to defeat me, of course. First to no, vale, jugamos. Right. The essence of the game is to buy cards to add to your play deck. Each of us will use our play deck to score prestige until one of us gets enough prestige to win. Lots of cards, eh? The ones on your side of the table are yours. The ones on my side are mine. The cards in the middle are what we call the tavern. We each claim cards from the tavern to improve our play decks and earn enough prestige to win. You'll take the first turn. Let's both draw our starting hand. Each of your cards have a coin value, see? You can use their coin value to buy cards into your play deck from the tavern, the center of the table. Try to keep track of the value of the cards in your hand. Each card has a cost, a suit, and an effect. If I were you, well, this card here seems like the right one for you to buy with the coin that you have, so claim it. When you buy a card, you subtract its cost from your coin total, and you get the card. Then a new card replaces that card in the tavern. You still have enough coin to buy another card, so let's do that. Now, you can't play a card you bought right away. When you buy a card, it goes into a cooldown pile here, see? You can see at a glance what card suits are in your cooldown pile. It looks like you don't have enough coin to buy any other cards. And there's nothing else you can do at the moment. When that happens, you signal that your turn is over. Any resources you have at the end of your turn will be cleared once your turn is over. Except prestige, that is. Once your turn ends, you discard your cards and draw five new ones. You can start to plan your next turn while I take mine. That said, You should always keep an eye on what your opponent is up to on their turn. They might buy a card or take an action that will force you to revise your plans. So now it's my turn. I'll control the table until I signal the end of my turn. See if you can figure out my strategy based on my actions. Más o menos mismo que yo. Well, well. The card you drew gave you both gold and power. Power has two uses. The first is combat, but it also turns into prestige at the end of your turn. Remember, earning prestige is how you win. Vale, no tengo dinero. Podría tener cuatro, con cuatro no puedo comprar nada. Es tontería, ¿no? A ver, como acabo con mi mazo. Recuerda que tus currencies get cleared when you end your turn. Well, power doesn't carry over between turns. But when you do signal the end of your turn. Any power you have left over turns into prestige. Good to know, eh? See these little fellows? They're our patrons. Each deck comes with its own patron, and they play an important role in how the deck works. See? Each patron has something they want. A price, let's call it. They also have something to offer. A reward. 
pay a patron's price and you'll get their reward. You have to pay the price all at once and you usually get the reward immediately. Try paying one of these patrons. Whichever one you choose to pay will oh. offer you a boon. There's Just someone keep in, in mind, you're only allowed to pay one patron per turn. They can get a little gel. Convertido la pieza de oro en poder. Era el poder en prestigio. They favor you now. All patrons start in a neutral bent, and then show favor to whoever pays them first. Of course, you can pay a patron that favors your opponent. If you do, that patron will become neutral. Pay them again on a later turn, and then they'll favor you. And here's a tip: if you ever can get all patrons on the table to favor you. You'll win the game, even if you have less prestige than your opponent. Just one more thing to keep an eye on. All right, you need to draw new cards, but your deck is empty. Now we shuffle your cooldown pile, and that becomes your new draw pile. You might draw cards you bought last turn, as well as those you started with. Your cooldown pile is empty. That means all the cards you started with or bought during play are now in your draw pile. Right, it's my turn again. I'm going to draw some coin, use it to buy a card, and draw some power from my play deck, which will become prestige when my turn ends. Just like your turn, only, um, more experienced. Those cards you drew can trigger a combo. See how they have extra effects if you draw another card that matches their suit? Luckily, you bought cards with the suit you need to trigger these cards. Yeah, vale, I Some of the most powerful effects on cards. No, me da el dinero, pero claro, esto me da dos, and sí. a card will tell you how much of each suit you need to activate its combo effect. Great no, players always try to trigger combos, so keep track of those suits. We're closing in on the end. I can tell by keeping track of the prestige we've earned. For this practice match, we're keeping the total small, but in a real game, you'll need more prestige to win. Vale. Pero esto lo puedo jugar ya. Sin tener el... No, pero quería... No puedo hacer esto otra vez, porque no puedo. Vale, con 10 ganamos. De 40. Go talk to Master Razamad and tell him you bested me. Just don't get caught. A ver qué nos han dado de recompensa. Bueno, pues... Sin más. No más llega ningún... Ahora, ¿no? Correo recibido. Bueno. Vaya, inventario está lleno, gente. Vale, gente, pues voy a dejarlo aquí. Eh, aquí se acaba... Bueno, a ver, sobre el juego este de cartas, le daré unos cuantos tries, a ver si me apaño y me lo hago más o menos rápido. Si aprendo a jugarlo rápido. Igual sí que le doy, un... Les doy unos cuantos tries y lo, lo utilizo, pero vamos, en principio no es mi idea. No me parece tan entretenido como, por ejemplo, el Wend, que hay en The Witcher 3, por ejemplo. Y respecto a la historia, cerramos la historia de Isla Alta y eh, vamos a retomar la historia principal con mi personaje principal. Y eso ya va a ser en el siguiente vídeo. El siguiente vídeo que seguramente... El de que he grabado antes lo voy a intentar subir mañana, viernes, sábado. Sí, viernes y sábado intentaré subir estos dos vídeos y a partir del lunes espero empezar a subir los de eh, Nimue, que está en Puerto Gélido. 
Que me queda poco para esta principal, si no recuerdo mal. ¿eh? Hay que decirlo. Pero después de eso, con este personaje seguramente haremos alguna otra historia. Ya sea la de Summerset, de Morrowind, no sé. Haremos, haremos alguna más. Pero si es verdad que creo que esta es la parte final. Y ya os digo, cruzando el abismo es la que estamos ahora, ¿no? Ah, no, el ejército de Meridia. El ejército de Meridia, sí, la de la segunda. Y supongo que el asalto final es la última. Entonces son una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco misiones. Y en teoría acabamos. Eh, creo, ¿eh? Eso es más o menos lo que yo tenía entendido por lo que busqué en su momento cuando, cuando estaba haciendo esta parte. Pero bueno, gente, lo dicho, espero que os haya gustado. Como siempre, si es así, darle like al vídeo, suscribirse al canal, dejar comentarios. Si no, no lo hagáis, no pasa nada. Y nos vemos en el siguiente. Hasta luego.